We got it. Check this out. All right, guys, Discovery Optics, they sent us a scope. Check this out. This is the EDPRS. This is the 5 by 25 by 56. Let's check this out. We'll get it thrown on a rifle and take her to the range. This thing is packaged really, really stinking good. Of course, we got our normal stuff. We got this really cool chamois cloth. It's got quality control, checking inspections, instruction manual. But look at the size of this scope. This is the important part, man. Check this thing out. This thing is a hoss. These turrets are bigger than my EP5. This thing is huge. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the stinking rifle itself. I think we're gonna put it on our CZ 457. I think that's what this is gonna go on. Heck yeah, well let's see what else is in this box. Check this out guys, we got a little brush. Super cool. Clean off a little bit of dust and whatnot. Of course it comes with Allen keys. What's this? Scope leveling kit. Huh, that's pretty neat. This is our inspection card. Tell us a little bit about it and look at the size of these rings, guys. Monsters. Absolutely, I love how they got the size but also how much you're supposed to torque on them. That is handy both sides the tops and here that is super handy but look at this when i opened this up earlier i noticed this is like super cool it comes with not one sunshade not two sunshades but three all different sizes oh heck yeah we can all screw them all together i'm gonna have like a three foot long sunshade okay so let's put it on that cz and take her to the range this is gonna be fun all right, so I just had to show you what it looks like with three sunshades on there. Look at that thing. That looks super crazy, don't it? So this thing is a 25 power scope. It has a big 56 millimeter objective. The tube is huge. The whole thing is just absolutely monstrous. Just listen to these turrets. I hope you can hear that. They don't have a real heavy click to it, but you can sure feel it. But they're just absolutely huge. And the same with the windage. It has a little bit more textile, but you can definitely hear it. The side focus here has got the extra big knob, and it is buttery smooth. Look at that. Of course, this is your illumination. It does have illumination on here. I don't really care for illumination. I don't generally use it has a big throw lever that comes with it. It makes that buttery smooth. The optic piece back here, all that is absolutely just top notch. All of it is extremely smooth. Looking through this glass, which you're about to see here shortly, in its price range, this thing rocks. Now this is a very heavy optic. It comes with the place card of all the stuff that has on it. It is nitrogen filled, shock proof, waterproof fog proof and nitrogen filled bam so i did notice it does have a rather tight eye box you have to be in it all the way and with the rings that come on it they are kind of like a high ring i think a lower ring would probably work just fine and be a little bit better especially since i don't have a cheek riser on this thing it's kind of more like a chin weld that i got on this thing not saying the tall rings is bad, it'd just be a lot more comfortable if I could, I had a cheek riser to kind of bring me up just a little bit higher. It also has a zero stop. It is fairly simple. It's kind of got the place where you put the coin in the top and you give it a turn. Real simple to do it. Everything on the inside of this thing looked like metal. There was no plastic. It looked good. It looks like it's a well-constructed scope, from what I can tell. But this is my first outing with it, and I'm digging it so far, guys. It does have kind of the classic Christmas tree reticles. Uh, we have a lot of wind. I'm planking at a 15-inch plate at 200 yards. So you guys could probably hear it, maybe. I don't know. But I didn't want to try to shoot any real tight groups with it today because we're getting, like, 10 mile an hour gusts of wind. It makes it really difficult to do tight stuff. 
Boom. Have you guys had any experience with the Discovery stuff? If not, check them out. Just check them out. Uh, for a lower end optic, man, they seem to be honestly a pretty good deal so far. So we do have this thing mounted on our CZ457. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you a little bit of the optic clarity. It is a crazy windy day out here, so I'm not really gonna shoot groups with it. We'll get to that another day because I plan on putting that on a center fire rifle and we're gonna check all of our tracking. So here is what this critter looks like at 50 yards. Okay, now let's step that up. We're gonna show you what it looks like at 200 yards and we'll even take a little shot through it, see if we can see the vapor trail. Now, obviously we're working through a camera and stuff. So sometimes you're not gonna get the perfect, the most pristine as I see it, because it honestly is a pretty clear scope, especially for that price range. But yeah, well, let's get this thing going. So right here, this is our image quality at 200 yards. It's super crisp. There is a little bit of chromatic aberration, but it's really not bad for the price range. This thing is honestly really clear and check this out. Too easy. Too easy all right guys if you guys are looking for something with a big sunshade and some big optics check out discovery at least give them a look see i'll leave a link in the description below but this is my first rodeo with it and i'm digging it so far it seems to shoot well i'm definitely going to bring it back on a centerfire rifle and we're going to see how well it tracks until next time guys let's keep it cheap